Hi, good, very good evening to all uh, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. We thank our Lord for giving uh, yet another day in our uh, life to live according to his words. We especially thank you for all the brethren for attending uh, today's meeting. We also thank uh, for many brethren uh, uh, who had earlier uh, joined us in Nepal last week uh, for the public witness activity. <clears throat> and as we all told you, so from today onwards, uh, so we're going to continue the main uh, classes, uh, the basic uh, truth. So this will be in English, uh, and the uh, same classes uh, again will be uh, taken by Brother Gopal on uh, Saturday in Nepali language. So uh, after each and every class, uh, we'll be sending you the YouTube link. Uh, and the brother will be sharing you the notes in Nepal and the recording as well. So you can uh, make use of all these things to, to grow in the Lord. Dear Buddha, so already we have seen some two classes. In the first class, we saw how to study the Bible, the 10 methods to understand the Bible. And now today, we're going to see one important subject. <coughs> And that uh, important uh, subject, <clears throat> I request everybody to make uh, notes of it. Any doubts, any questions you have, you can definitely ask us at the end of the class. We will be having a question session. Any questions you have related uh, to the subject spoken on the class, you can definitely ask us. Dear brethren, today we are going to study about the three words. So you might be wondering, what is these three words? Is it uh, heaven? Uh, earth and hell. No, dear brethren, this is not speaking about the heaven, the earth and the hell. This is not speaking about the Bulok, Parlok, Patal Lok. That is not the three Lokas of the Bible. <clears throat> the Bible speaks about the three worlds. The Bible tells that there was a first world and that we are living now in the second world. The third world is the world that is going to come in the future. So let us all uh, kindly read a few verses. Uh, Second Peter, third chapter, verse 5 and 6. Can anybody read in Nepali? Gopal brother, you can tell some of the brothers and sisters to kindly read it. I'll read, brother. Okay, thank you. Kinagi Tiniaru, yes, Kurako Bisema, Anjan Rahana Chahansan, Pormisurko Botan Dora, Uhileka, Akas Ru Boye, Rapritibi Boyo, Jun Pritibi Jahi, Pani Bata Boniko, Rapani Dora, Rahiroe Kotio, Tis Pani Dora, Tis Bela Kosansar, Pani Ne, Pani Boyra Nostra, Boyo. Very good. So it says the past world, the world that was perished in water. So, so this is speaking about the first world, the heavens uh, that were then, and the earth uh, that were then. It perished uh, in the water. Okay. So let us read over the second world in Hebrews 2.5. Hebrews 2.5. If somebody wants to read in English also, it's okay. Uh, Gopal Mother, is reading in English useful or reading in Nepal useful? I think in English, brother. Okay, then you can kindly read in English itself. You can tell somebody also who is willing to participate and read in English also. You can tell them because I don't know their names. So you can tell them with that. Okay, brother. Okay. Hebrews 2 5. Yeah. For unto the angels had, had he not put in subjection the world to come, whereof we speak. Very good. So, the world to come. So, there is a world that is going to come. This is speaking about the future world. So, let us read Galatians 1 4. Where it speaks about the current evil world. Kindly read Galatians 1 4, Buddha. Galatians 
who gave himself for our sin, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. Very good. So, from the present evil world. So, the world which in we are living, it is called as the present evil world. And the future world to come, you see, it is also mentioned in the Bible. So, therefore, the Bible speaks about these three words. So, today, we are going to see what exactly happened in these uh, three worlds. Uh, and why that uh, God destroyed this first world? And why there is a going to be a uh, second world? And why we are living in the second world? And why God promises that there is going to be one more world that is going to come and there is going to be peace and righteousness in it. So, Today, we're going to see only one world, the first world, and next week, we're going to see the second world and the third world as well. They have done. So, initially, as you read in 2 Peter 3rd chapter 5 and 6, he clearly tells that this first world was destroyed by the water, by the flood. And by this, uh, we come to know that uh, there was a great flood during the days of uh, Noah, which means this first world should have existed from the creation, you see, to the flood of uh, during the days of Noah. So then what actually happened in the first world? If you see the Buddha, first world, in the beginning, Genesis 1, 1, it says God created the heavens and the earth. So this uh, verse, when he's speaking about the heaven and the earth, this is not speaking about the, you see, the heaven which uh, God himself is staying. You see, this is not speaking about the abode of God, but rather this is speaking about the outer universe. When initially God decided to create, uh, you see, this uh, earth as a habitable uh, place for mankind, you see, he created the heaven, the outer universe uh, with various uh, planets, stars in it. And then he created, uh, you see, this earth that you have Therefore, the word heaven actually in the Bible, you see, in everywhere doesn't mean that it's the place of God, it's the abode of God. It actually refers to the outer universe. You can see in uh, Psalms 19, chapter verse 1 to 3. Can anybody read Psalms 19, chapter 1 to 3, brother? Can anybody read? The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament soweth his handiwork, day unto day uttereth speech, and might and night unto night soweth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Very good. So here it says, The heavens declare the glory of God. So which is this heaven? This is not the word of God. You see, nobody has seen the word of God. You see, but this is speaking about the outer universe. You see, there is no speech nor language in this outer universe, but at the creation of this mighty planets, uh, the solar system, the various stars, the sun, this declares uh, the glory of God. So this uh, is actually speaking about the outer universe. So initially, when God created this earth as a habitable place for man, God created man, you see, in his own image and made him to be the king of this uh, earth. And during those days, uh, you see, the creation of God was very wonderful. All the men and women were so beautiful, you see, to look at. And uh, the average age of mankind during those days was nearly 900 years. Even Adam, if you see, he lived for a period of 930 years. And Methuselah was the maximum who lived for 969 years. So what was the secret that they continued to live for such a long period? You see, in the first world, what was the food that they ate? You see, if you ask this question, what would be your answer? Whether eating vegetarian or whether eating non-vegetarian, can anybody answer? 
Can anybody want to answer? Would do anybody like to answer? Vegetarian, I think. Very good. They all used to eat vegetarian. Is there any verse in the Bible? Yes. That is given in Genesis 1.29. Read kindly Genesis 1.29. Genesis. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which the fruit of a tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat. Ah, it shall be for meat. Very good, brother. So it says, Yes, every fruit of the tree. You see? Huh? So. It was given as a meat means so man was permitted to eat only vegetarian in the first world. Okay. Well, man could eat vegetarian, but what about the animals? There used to be so much wild animals in the world. What did the wild animals eat? Can anybody answer? Would anybody like to answer? What about the wild animals? Um, they used to have Plants. 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 Hey, okay. Is there any verse in the Bible, sir? That they have plants? Animal? Animals. Can they eat plants? Is there any verse in the Bible? Um, I haven't recognized that, but I believe that they used to eat um, only the grains. Good. Very good, sir. Absolutely correct. Read Genesis 1.30. Is given there. Genesis 1 31. And to Genesis. every beast of the earth, and to every fall of the air, and to everything that creepeth up in the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. Uh, so every green herb was given for meat, even for the animals. Dear brethren, even in the first world, all the animals also used to eat only vegetarian. And uh, was there any rain in the first world? If you see, there was no rain at all in the first world. Read Genesis 2 5. Genesis 2 5, brother. Genesis and every. <laughs> <laughs> and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and not a man to till the ground uh, see it was God had not uh, caused it to rain upon the earth so in the first world there is no rain at all it seems uh, okay if there was no rain in then how did the plant and animals, uh, you see, they used to sustain? How did the trees grow? If you read the next verse, the answer is given there itself that the mist went out of the earth and watered the entire ground. Read with the verse 6. Hmm. Verse 6, next verse. But they went upon a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. You see, they went in the mist. You see, as you can see in very chill places. If you see in your Nepal also, I think many years before, when the weather was very cold, you could have seen the early mist in the atmosphere. And it used to water, you see, all the trees and the herbs of the brain. And one more thing which God had created a special thing in the first world is about the is it water canopy. So let us read Genesis first chapter verses 6 to 8. Genesis first chapter 6 to 8, brother. And God said, Let there be a firmament, fir firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firma firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. 
and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. Very good word. So let us try to understand this verse. This says, on the second day, God, uh, you see, what did you do? That uh, he created a firmament, uh, you see? And that firmament divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, it seems. So you tell me, which is the water that is below the firmament? You see, we all know that is none other thing than the ocean waters and all. But what about the water which is above the firmament? You see, many people come to a conclusion that the water above the firmament is, uh, you see, the clouds. But if you continue to read that verse, that verse clearly says that the uh, cloud itself was a firmament, it seems. Uh, then what is the layer that is above these clouds? Can you read the verse again, brother? Let us read that verse again, brother, please. Genesis, uh, you see, first chapter, verses uh, 6 to 8. Can you read it again, brother? Slowly, we'll see. Uh. And God said, let huh. there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Ah, see, it, now we try to understand. See, God said, let there be a firmament, you see, in the midst of the waters. Okay. Huh. And let it divide the waters from the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. Hmm. And God made the firmament and divide the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. Ah, so there was a firmament in the middle, then there was a water below the firmament, and there was a water above the firmament also, it seems there then. So, what is this firmament? What is the name of the firmament? Read brother now. Ah. And God called the firmament heaven. Ah, God called the firmament as heaven. If you read that uh, particular verse in Nepali Bible, what does it come to the read that particular verse for the what you just now read? God called the firmament as heaven. Ani Parmeswarle tis antar lai akas vannu bayo. Akas. You see? So God made a akash. Below the akash there was a water. And above the akash also there was a water it seems. Many people think that below water is the sea. But the water above is the akash. No, no, no. Bible says, above Akash, there was a water also, it seems. Now, what is that one? That is not the clouds there, brother. And the clouds itself is the Akash. The clouds itself is the sky. You see, and above that one, there was a water, it seems. What is this one? If you see, there was actually a water canopy that surrounded the entire globe. You see, you can see here, no? There was the earth, the globe here. And there was a firmament, that means the earth atmosphere was there, the air and all, the clouds and all were there. Above it, there was a literal water canopy. You see, it was as if the earth was completely covered with a water bag. You see, huh? we can see in this video very clearly, the earth was there. You see, above the earth, the cloud, the sky was there. But above the sky, there was a beautiful water canopy, then the entire earth was completely covered with the water. You see, that is very clearly mentioned in this verse. This verse says that earth was completely enveloped in this water and this was called the water canopy. You see, this is much like uh, seeing in Singapore, Hong Kong, if you go. You see, this is a glass tunnel which runs through the sea. And uh, the water doesn't touch us. Why? Because there is a glass canopy. You see? Because there is a glass canopy, the water doesn't touch us. Therefore, similarly, 
Huh? The water is to cover the entire, you see, globe here, the end. And because of it, the harmful ultraviolet rays and the harmful sun rays used to never directly hit the earth. Therefore, because of this reason, there is to be a very controlled environment. Therefore, you can see during those days, the man's average age was 900 years. Now, why did it suddenly become less? And why did the God try to destroy, decided to destroy this first world? What went wrong in this first world? Just imagine the condition of the first world. A beautiful water canopy is there. A controlled environment is there. There is no harmful rays that is coming and hitting the earth. All the animals are pure vegetarian. All the human beings are pure vegetarian. They are all beautiful to look at. You see, there is to be houses without any roof. You see, and there is no fear for any you see, animals coming and attacking them. So such a beautiful first world. Why did God destroy it? You see, what actually happened? In that first world, dear brethren, let us read one verse, Hebrews 2 5. Hebrews 2 5, brother. For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come, ah. whereof we speak. Very good, brother. So, you see, when uh, you see Lucifer. Uh, became Satan. You see, when he fell into transgression, when he became the adversary of God, see, next, uh, God gave the in charge of this world to take care of mankind to the angels. This verse says that God had uh, put the angels into subjection sometime, it seems, uh, but in the future, he is not going to do that one, it seems. For unto the angels hath he not put into subjection the world to come. That means, here God is telling, in the future, he will not give the in charge to the angels. You see, that means what? That means, once upon a time, he had given the in charge. You see, he had given the in charge of the world to take care of the world. You see, if uh, from tomorrow, you see, if uh, Brother Gopal tells uh, that uh, from tomorrow I am not going to school, what does it mean? It means earlier he was going to school, but in the future he won't be going to school. So similarly, when God says that he is not going to give the angels uh, the in charge of the world to come, that means he had once made them in charge of the world. That was during the first world. And during the first world, God had given the angels a special privilege. We all know that angels are spirit beings. When they come to the earth, they could have manifested themselves in human beings' flesh. You see, they don't have a earthly body like human beings, but they can manifest, you see, to human beings in the human form. This privilege God had given to all the holy angels in the first world. Okay. Is there any record in the Bible that the angels came in the flesh? Do anybody know some examples uh, in the Bible where angels came in the flesh? Anybody knows any example, brother? Any of you? Any examples? Anybody? Have angels come in the flesh? Have human beings uh, seen the angels? Have any of the human beings seen the angels? Huh? If you see... Yes, Abraham did. Yes. Three angels came to Abraham's house and they ate meat and went. Read Genesis 18, 1 to 2. Brother. Genesis 18, chapter 1 and 2. Brother. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of um, Mambre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And mm. he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, 
three men stood by him and when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself uh, toward the ground. When he saw, uh, he actually saw men. But who was uh, among the three? Even the Lord Jesus had come. The other two are the angels gave them. So these angels appeared to Abraham in the flesh. It is the same angels that went to Sodom and Gomorrah to meet Lot and bring him out of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. They have done. All these things are given in the Bible itself. So, angels can manifest in the flesh. They can come in human being form. There are other examples also. You see, the entire night, Jacob fought with the angel. You see, and did not leave him until the, the angel had blessed him. And Joshua, you see, and Gideon, before going to the war, you see, they had saw angels in the flesh. They were there. So, Similarly, in the first world, when the angels could have come in the flesh, you see, when they manifested in the flesh, what they did was that they saw the beautiful woman of this world, earth, you see, the beautiful woman of this world, and had, you see, contact with them, had an intercourse with them, you see, which was against God's will. They married the woman of this world, which was totally against God's will. Let us read Genesis 6 2. Genesis 6 2. Read with us, please. That the sons of the gods saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. See, the sons of God, angels of God. They saw the daughters of men, that they were very beautiful. And they took them wives, whomever they chose is himself. So this was against God's will, they ran. See, are angels permitted to marry? No, angels are not permitted to marry. You see, God created the concept of marriage only for human beings, not for angels and human beings, not for angels, human Hybrid. No, this was against the will of God. You see, Jesus once clearly said, no, huh? a, a man comes and puts a question to Jesus, saying, you, know, you see, a woman had married seven men to whom she'll be marrying in the resurrection. Uh, the question is asked to Jesus. What did Jesus uh, reply? Jesus said, in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are they given in marriage, but they shall be like angels of God in heaven. Read Matthew 22, 30. Matthew 22, 30. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So, angels are not permitted to marry. There is no marriage among the angels. Sir. This was a sin. Read Jude, first chapter verse 7, before book of Revelation. Jude chapter 1 verse 7. Read from verse 6 and verse 7. 6 and 7. Hmm. And the and the angels which kept not their first state, but left their own habitation. He hmm. had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, mm. even as Sodom and Gomorrah mm. and the cities about them in like uh, manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going mm. after strange flesh, mm. are set going forth. After strange flesh, committing fornication, even as Sodom and Gomorrah, angels uh, are compared to the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah. They went after strange flesh, dear brethren. This was the sin that the angels did. Now, what was the result of it? You see, as soon as the angels married this beautiful woman of this earth, you know, who were born? You see, great chains were born to them. Read Genesis 6, chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. Joel, brother, would you like to read it? Genesis 6, chapter verse 4 and 5. Okay. They were giants in the earth in those days, 
And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bear children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown, and God saw that the weakness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Continually. You see, huh? if a man uh, huh, marries a woman, will uh, change be one? No. It will be only born when, when the angels come in the flesh and the marry woman who are born. James, big, big, you see, Rakshasas. You see, you see, there are so many mythologies now, so many Greek mythology, you see, so many other mythologies, various people, so big, big Rakshasas, they lived, so many big Jains. You see, what happened to them suddenly? Huh? They are no more at all. There's no, you see, any clue about them at all? What happened? How they were born? Where did they go? The Bible only gives that answer to Abraham. So these were born illegitimately against the will of God, by sinning against God. Hence, uh, these uh, genes, uh, you see, uh, they created havoc on the earth. Because of them, the earth was completely filled with violence. The wickedness of men exceeded the children. So, these genes did not ordinary genes. They were very gigantic compared to normal human beings and they used to dominate them. They used to, you see, subdue them. They used to rule over them. Because of their ferocious rule, the earth was completely filled with wickedness. You see, the normal height of a human being is generally around six feet. But these giants were really more than 50 feet. You see, compared to normal human beings. Huh? Brother, do you have proof of it? Yes, we can see. The recent excavations that are done about these giants' bones and all, you see, compared to ordinary human being, these giants are nearly 40, 50 feet. Or you can see a human being, you see, he's excavating. He's just like a small uh, puppet uh, before them. Huh? You can see this uh, a skull. Skull itself is nearly six feet height. Uh, imagine a skull itself is six feet height, but he will be more than 16 feet at the other end. So, what happened if you see? The earth was filled completely with violence. These Jains ruled in all the earth while their parents, that is the fathers, the angels, the wicked angels, the fallen angels, they used to rule in the earth atmosphere. So what happened if you see? The first world was corrupt. You see, huh? from the sky, these fallen angels used to rule in wickedness. On the earth, this change is to rule. So, the entire system was completely covered with wickedness. Therefore, God decided to destroy this first world. This is the reason that God destroyed the first world in Israel. And what did God do? God, you see, selected Noah and told him to build an ark and told him to take all the animals with him. You see, and Noah took all the animals by pairs. Can anybody tell me how many pairs did Noah took inside the ark? How many pairs? Who can answer? How many pairs did Noah take inside the ark? You are all there? Brothers, sisters, you are all there? Can anybody answer? How many pairs did Noah took inside the ark? Nobody knows. Sir. Huh? How many pairs? Clean animals, seven pairs. Clean animals, one pair. One pair. Good. Gopal Patel is right. That's the reason he's telling correctly. If you ask any Christians, they tell two, 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 two. two. They took one pair. Huh? Male and female. Male and female. But the Bible says, you see, unclean animals were a single pair, male and female. But all the clean animals, you know what, took seven pairs. Genesis 7, chapter 2 to 3. Why? Why did he took seven pairs? Because Noah had to sacrifice to the Lord Abraham. If all the clean animals were given off, how will they, you see, populate again in Sartha? Therefore, God told him to take seven pairs of clean animals to Abraham. Then as soon as Noah entered into the heart, what happened now? The great flood came upon the Sartha. Huh? 
the rain fell for how many days is in Sarah? 40 days, 40 minutes. Now, how did the rain come? Was there rain in the first world? Tell me, was there rain in the first world? Hmm? Are you listening? Huh? No, no. No, no rain in the first world. Then how did it rain for 40 days, 40 nights? How? You know, what did God do? God broke the water canopy. You see, it was above the sky. Read Genesis 7, chapter 11 and 12. Genesis 7, chapter 11 and 12. The same day where all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened and the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Mm -hmm. See, what happened to Simsa? The windows of heaven were opened till such time the windows of heaven were not opened at all. So once the windows were opened, all the water which completely enveloped the earth came on the earth in the form of a rain. You see, you can see, you see, this was a water canopy that was completely enveloped. You see, once the flood came, that canopy was totally destroyed. All the water, you see, came in the form of rain for 40 days, 40 nights. Imagine 40 days, 40 nights, continuously it rains. What will happen? Entire earth was flooded, you see. It was filled above 15 feet at the rain. Hence, uh, in this flood, you know what happened? All the people who were infected with the uh, angelic blood, they all perished, except Noah and his family members. Sir. You see? Huh? What happened now? The flood, everybody died. So what happened to these genes? If you see, even these genes also perished. You see why? Because these genes were only gigantic human beings. They did not have the power of the angels to change over from human being to angelic nature and from angelic nature to human beings. That was given only to the angels. So these were genes in the flesh. So once the flood came, what happened? They all perished in the flood. This is the reason God permitted the flood to come. Okay. Now, what happened to the angels who had come from the spiritual nature to human nature and had physical contact with this woman? What happened to these angels? You see, when the flood came, they were all in the human nature, the fleshly nature. Once the flood came, you know what happened? They immediately changed over to spiritual nature and escaped. Where did they go? Did they go to heaven? No, God did not allow them to heaven. They are bound in earth's atmosphere. You see, let us read 2 Peter 2 4, brother. 2 Peter 2 4, brother. Huh. For if God spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Ah, you see, delivered them into the chains of darkness. Reserved and judgment. Change of darkness means this outer universe. We are going to see in detail about all these things in the coming classes. So this is about the earth atmosphere where the fallen angels are bound. You see? So therefore, this first world was totally destroyed. All the human beings and all the genes who had this angel that were destroyed and the angels were never permitted, the fallen angels were never permitted in the future come in the flesh. So what happened now? Noah was in the ark for nearly one year, one day, 15, uh, uh, one, one year, one month, 15 days. And after that one, an ark came and landed at Mount Ararat. You see, the Noah came out, you see, from the ark uh, and sacrificed to the Lord. And that is the time that the God made a covenant with Noah and set a, you see, a rainbow in the cloud as a token of his covenant saying, in the future, I shall not destroy the entire earth in the land. So that was a token which 
All right, kept up on the sky. You see, wherever we see the rainbow in the sky, you should remember that God's Bible is real truth. Word of God is the truth. And this is the covenant which actually God had made with the you know, there's a remembrance of it, dear brethren. Therefore, dear brethren, you see, eh? so what happened? What did we see today? If you see, the earth which was completely covered with wickedness because of these angels, you see, eh? it was destroyed. You see, let us read the verse again, brother, please. Genesis 6 11, brother. Genesis 6 11, read, brother. Huh. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. Mm. The earth was filled with uh, violence. Here, the earth means not the globe, not the, you see, the rock, the stone, the trees. No. Here, the earth means the people, the society. You see, the society was completely corrupt. The society was completely filled with uh, violence. You see? Now, the Bible also says, now, let's say, John 3.16, read with that. John 3.16, please read with that. Huh. John 3.16, please. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth, in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God so loved the world. World means what? Artha, Globa, stones, uh, pillars, rock, boulders. You see, trees, plants, uh, no? He loved the people. You see, we have learned. So the world in the Bible and the earth always in the Bible. The, earth, the people, the society, therefore, in the first world, the society was completely filled with violence. Therefore, what did God destroy? That society, that evil, wicked society was destroyed. The little globe, the little earth was never destroyed because no one landed on the same earth, dear brethren. And in the heavens, who were ruling? In the sky, who was ruling? You see, it was the fallen angels along with Lucifer. You see, they used to come and manifest in the flesh and wish to go back. This power, God destroyed. They can never come in the flesh as before. Before, what did the Bible say? Huh? The heavens and the earth that were God destroyed in the water. Now, what is the meaning of the heaven and the earth? Means? Heaven means uh, God's abode. No. Not God's place. You see, it actually means the earth atmosphere. It doesn't speak about the universe also. So in the Bible, the word heaven actually has got three meanings. One, it is the abode of God. Jesus told us to pray now, a father which art in heaven. So heaven means the abode of God. First meaning. The second meaning, Psalms 19 chapter, Genesis 1, 1. God created the heavens and the earth. The outer universe, that is also called as heaven in the book. The third meaning is this earth's atmosphere that is also called as heaven in the Bible. So this uh, setup in the first world, the society, you see, the earth, you see, that was destroyed, that uh, used to be ruled by the angels and the James, that was destroyed, everyone, not the literal earth. Read Ecclesiastes 1.4. Please read Ecclesiastes 1 4, brother. Huh? Ecclesiastes 1 4. Huh? One generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abided forever. Uh -huh. See, first world came, it went off. Second world is there. You see, one generation comes, one generation goes. Earth will abide forever. The globe shall never be destroyed. That will remain forever and ever. So, when the Bible says that the first world was destroyed, doesn't mean that the literal globe was destroyed. The setup, the evil and the wicked setup, we see the ruling of the angels, the fallen angels, and the wicked James was destroyed. Therefore, 
You see, there's so many mythology, you know, so many giants with their big, 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 big. Huh? Where did they go suddenly? And they don't have the answer at all. They will say, yes, they are all perished in the, the flat. Then, therefore, you see, huh? this is about the first world. So it is since then that the second world began to continue. Now, in the coming Wednesday, we will see actually what is the second world. What all is going to happen in the second world? We'll see in the next class. Okay. Now, if anybody has got any questions, any doubts in today's class, you can definitely ask me. Any questions, any doubts, anybody is having? Anybody, any questions, anybody wants to ask, they can ask. Amar brother, Anu sister, uh, Gun brother, Joel brother, Muna sister, Romi sister, Shazan brother. Anybody can, if you want to ask questions, you can ask. Not issue. Okay, if somebody has no questions, that means we can end it with prayer. Okay, brother Edward. Actually, uh, hmm. I don't have any questions, but like, um, it's moreover the um, clarity we are getting uh, for me. And actually, it's being absolutely new um, method and study the way we are getting now. So I'm excited, but like, I'm just uh, visualizing uh, as you're saying everything, uh, but I don't really have the question and I appreciate the class. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lord bless. We praise the Lord for it. It's God's words is always wonderful. And David says it's sweeter than honey. So let us all uh, taste it and uh, uh, delight with his sweetness. Thanks a lot for it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, anybody has any questions? Anybody else? Or else uh, we'll uh, pass it over to Brother Edward. Okay, Brother Edward.